This is a tutorial showing how to use Academic Search Complete productivity tools that also applies to any other EBSCO database. I'm going to do a search on overfishing and we'll see how you can process the results. Let's look at how to process a single article and then we'll look how to process a group of articles. Select the article. On the left is HTML full text. That will display the full text of the article on your screen. On the right are the tools. Print is fairly obvious. Email is the feature that lets you email the article to yourself with an extra feature. That feature is here, citation format. Pull down the menu and then choose the format you want. And of course, after putting in your email address, subject, etc. Let's go back and look at the other tools. The save works very similarly. The cite is, an art, is a feature that lets you get the citation from the article without actually having to print it. It puts all of the formats up. If you're using MLA, it's very simple. You just highlight it and right mouse click and copy. Paste it into word processor, however you want to handle this citation. The other features are ones that you can use in Explorer on your own. Let's see how we handle a group of articles. And the way we do that is we'll go back to result list. What we want to do is we want to save them. So we click on Save. It, there's all the results, 1 to 30. So we will click on that to save them. Now we can go to the folder view. The folder is where they're all stored. And this is what lets us handle all or only some of the articles. It shows us all 30 are saved. So we can go through and select the particular ones that we want and thereby ignoring ones that we don't. Let's just pick two or three just for an example here. When we find the choose the ones that we actually want, go back up. Now we can email. In this case, I'm going to do save. We'll see how that works. It shows that there's three items to be saved. Citation format is the same as we saw in email. Choose that, pull down MLA, and then click on save. It will prompt you to save it to a USB drive, to your hard drive, anywhere that you'd like. So these productivity tools, using particularly the folders, are a very useful way of saving you time when you're doing your research.